All right, folks, this is the beginning of part two with the ATX uh, pulse induction detector. First, we're going to preface it with uh, showing you how hot the ground is here with my ATX. I mean, uh, my AT Gold. So here we go. We're going to ground balance. What does it say? 73. So, you hear that? There's a seam here of really iron, really hot iron here. I'm going to ground bounce on that and show you how much hotter it's going to be. I'm going to do some tests with the ATX on this. You can see it's hotter. Here we go. Eighty-five. So that would be a ninety-five on the GTI twenty-five hundred and the uh, Garrett AT Pro. The AT Gold has a little more room to move on these things. Anyway, so there's the hot seams there. And right beside it, it's about 75, 85. All right, so we're going to get the awesome uh, Garrett ATX here. Do more testing on it. All right, for my next nugget test, the ATX, there's a nugget right here. That's 0.1 gram. It's uh, like half invisible nugget. You know, you've heard of those invisible nuggets to metal detectors, especially pulse induction. It's kind of halfway invisible. This one is really invisible. This is a 0.1 gram also. It's, uh, it's even more one of those invisible nuggets than the other one I just showed you. So I'm going to show you the AT Gold first, what it does to them. To them. And uh, then we'll grab the ATX. And I'll show you what it does. Here with the AT Gold, got a ground balanced nugget number one right there. You hear it? Not bad, not bad. Of course, it's a VLF, should pick it up, right? Here's the uh, even more invisible nugget 0.1 gram AT Gold. See? Like an invisible nugget, even to a VLF. But you're going to hear that ATX. It might pick it up. Look at that. Crazy, huh? This actual nugget is probably a 0.15 gram. A little bit bigger than the other one. ATX. Having trouble with it. Invisible nugget. Let's go get the ATX. See what it does. All right, here we are with the ATX on the same two small nuggets. We have the sensitivity on 10, which is uh, the factory preset setting. So we're going to show you the power and reserve from this thing from 10 to 13. Of course, we're going to scan these nuggets at uh, factory preset. Threshold is also on factory preset at 7. That was 7.5 there. At 7 right now. So you won't hear it at 7. All right, let's sweep it. Got that nugget, just like the AT Gold did. Here's the invisible nugget, a little bigger, 1.15. Nothing, right? Just like the AT Gold. AT Gold's threshold was warbling just a little bit. All right, let's crank the sensitivity up a little bit, all the way to 13. A lot of juice left in this thing. We're going to get a little something here. Hear that? Hold it still. Just a little something. So the ATX is picking up an invisible nugget. Alright, we'll go back to the other nugget. We're still on full power, 13 sensitivity. Look at that. This is a tiny, this is like 0.1 gram. Getting it at Still going up. That's a little over two inches right there. Or right at two. A little over two, two and a quarter maybe. Alright, for my next test, I'm going to utilize the AT Gold as a demonstration also. I'm going to show you, see this hot seam right here? 
hot, hot iron seam. Just nasty stuff. Drives this detector crazy. Watch this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. Got a nugget right here. There it is. All right, I'm gonna ground bounce the AT Gold right next to it. It is 64. Not too hot, not too bad. Watch this. Picks it up nice. All right, I'm just gonna keep scanning across this uh, iron here. Just gonna drive this uh, AT Gold crazy. Watch this. Put the nugget on top of this hot, nasty stuff. Right there. All right. I haven't ground bounced AT Gold yet, but listen to this. You can't tell the nugget's there, so I'm going to ground bounce it. Be fair. This is a good little machine. It's at uh, 84 now. Re re ground balance it. 87 now. Now we'll pick up the nugget pretty good. Not bad. Alright. Pretty good for the little AT gold, but uh, those of you that uh, use this thing know that if you go from this dirt to this dirt you gotta reground balance it or you're gonna miss nuggets that might be in stuff like this alright so let's pick up the old ATX I'm not even gonna ground balance it I'm gonna turn it on and it's gonna hit this nugget without ground balancing to that hot stuff and it'll probably even be even better when I do ground balance it Fire it up four beeps here we go I'm gonna put it on 10 Sensitivity. Here we go. Not even bothering it. Go from this ground to that ground, a little waver. Definitely know something's there. So let's ground bounce over this stuff. You're going to hear it. Takes a little longer for this machine. I'll show you when it gets quiet. There you go. Not a peep. She's ground balanced. See? Quiet, quiet. We might hit a nugget here. There it is. This, folks, is the advantage of pulse induction. Especially this machine. I am liking it. I am liking it. Pretty cool. All right, for this next test, this is the test I call the power and reserve test. I want to show you something here. There's a crack here. I put a nugget in it. This nugget right there. It is 0.9 gram. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover the coil, you know, scan the coil, ATX coil over this hole here on factory settings which is 10 sensitivity and 7 threshold. I'm going to leave this threshold alone. But I'm going to show you the power and reserve this thing has between 10 and 13. Alright. I'm going to pick her up. Already ground balanced it. So, so on 10 power. Scan over the hole. Barely pick it up. Well, I'll stick it in the hole. I'll get it. in the crack over the hole again a little too deep watch this power max engage Doop, there it is watch this hear it now you hear it better don't you that's a good foot away Stick it in the crack. Much better. A 
Back to 10. Still get it just a little bit. So there you go. This thing's got power and reserve. And I tell you what, I had it on uh, run it wide open the other day way, way back on the other side of those mountains there. Some uh, gold mines and it purred like a kitten. Not a problem. So I tell you what folks, this uh, Garrett ATX is quite a sensitive pulse induction. Probably one of the most uh, sensitive I've ever used. Probably is the most sensitive I've ever used because uh, I cannot get this kind of performance out of the uh, Mind Lab GPX 5000. So I'm going to do a test very soon with the Mind Lab GPX 5000 against this Garrett ATX. Very soon I'm going to get the use of this thing a little more. And then we're going to do the test. So the next test I'm going to do with this actually is going to put the mono coil on here, the 8 inch mono coil, and do some of these similar tests I'm doing on nuggets. So stay tuned.